Hi, thank you for taking a few minutes to learn about an organization that is very close to my heart. My name is Julie Finnan Day, and I am the Executive Director of Rainbow Valley Resource Network. We support Christian scientists who are working through labels of developmental special needs. First, I'd like to introduce you to my family. This is my husband, Ryan, my daughter, Sabine, who you see pictured on the left, my son, Elliot, and myself. When Sabine was born, doctors told us that she has an intellectual disability. There were heart surgeries and lots of other medical interventions. My husband and I are committed students of Christian science. And even though we found it necessary for the moment to rely on what Mary Baker Eddy refers to as temporary and eternal means, this was the last place we thought we'd ever find ourselves and our family. We were faced with practical and physical needs for which we had no preparation. They say that children don't come with an operations manual. Well, this is especially true for Christian science children with special needs. Our daughter required a feeding tube for the first four years. She didn't walk until she was four, so we carried her in a backpack. She used diapers until she was six and on and on. We never wavered from our commitment to healing through Christian science and we witnessed progress day by day. And yet we needed help navigating this. And while the doctors were caring and well-meaning, they never wavered from a material perspective which viewed our daughter as a hopelessly flawed mortal. We had wonderful support from practitioners in our church family, but we didn't know any other Christian scientists that could even begin to relate to our situation on a day-to-day -day basis. In fact, we felt like we must be the only Christian scientists in the world dealing with this particular challenge. It's not something that we've read about much in the periodicals. So when we first learned about Rainbow Valley Resource Network four years ago, we were thrilled just to know that there was a group of Christian scientists dedicated to supporting our daughter and us was amazing. A few months later, we joined Rainbow Valley at the Adventure Unlimited Ranches in Colorado for a special adaptive session at their 100 Elk Outdoor Center. Here, we weren't the only ones anymore. We met several families, loved ones and caregivers who were all engaged in seeing perfection instead of disability, just like we were. That is not a message the rest of the world is sending us. It felt like coming home to our new extended family. So backing up a little bit, you may have heard of Rainbow Valley Ranch. The ranch was founded in 1984 by June and Doug Dickinson for their own son who had a label of disabilities. It was a beautiful working ranch and learning community located in the Adirondack Mountains in upstate New York. Soon there were several individuals living there with the support of Christian science nurses, practitioners, and staff. 20 years later, when the founders were no longer able to operate the facility, the ranch was sold. Most of the residents, whom we affectionately call the original ranchers, moved as a group into a state-run residential home where they still live. They really are like brothers and sisters. We continue to cherish the ranchers with special activities. About six years ago, the board recognized there must be other families across the country who were also raising loved ones with special needs. They decided to broaden the mission of Rainbow Valley Ranch. So what began as a residential ranch supporting eight individuals has grown into a nationwide network of more than 130 loved ones, plus their families and caregivers called Rainbow Valley Resource Network. And we believe there are many more families out there who don't know about us yet. Rainbow Valley Resource Network now supports loved ones and their families at all stages of their experience. So here's a little bit about what we offer. One of the most impactful services we provide are networks within the Christian science community. Like my family once did, most of our families lead an isolated existence and don't know about one another. So RVRN hosts a family support network. 
Here you're seeing one of our very first gatherings at 100 Elk three years ago. We now host weekly video conference calls just for parents and caregivers to be together and share healings, inspiration, and practical insights. It's a support group that uplifts rather than merely commiserating. One of our newest initiatives is the Loved One Network. For the first time, our loved ones can get together in monthly online gatherings for Bible lesson study, fun activities, and making new friends. We partner with all of the Christian Science Camps to host these gatherings throughout the year. It's really sweet to see the friendships that are forming between loved ones. These monthly gatherings are activity-based and ongoing throughout the year. Here you see two siblings who are making Play-Doh together, along with the rest of their friends in this online session. Because it's home-based, no one is left out. We average about 45 loved ones at each monthly gathering. We host adaptive camp experiences at two Christian science camps. Our flagship program is our family style session at AU's 100 Elk Outdoor Center, as you saw in the beginning of the slideshow. For many families, this is the first time they are meeting other Christian scientists who are walking this path. So it's really powerful for parents and caregivers, as well as for their loved ones. Our newest adaptive program is for school-aged children at Cedars Camps in Missouri. It's a first of its kind session for children who could not otherwise attend Christian Science Camp with their peers because of their special needs. So we're excited about that. We held our first session online in June of this year and will be in person next year. We have other programs, which you can find out on our website. I'll give you that address at the end of the show. We also offer various forms of financial assistance in the form of subscriptions to the Christian Science periodicals and support for practitioner bills, respite care, and enrichment activities such as theater lessons or tutoring, for example. Many of our families face a considerable financial load in caring for their loved one. In my case, I was out of the workforce for 12 years in order to care for my daughter, so we lost an income, and I'm grateful that that was even an option we could choose. We have all kinds of families in our network, from single parents to families with multiple loved ones with special needs, some whose loved ones live and work independently with the help of staff, and some with loved ones who require full 24-hour care. In every case, healing is happening step by step. So assistance is really important in supporting healing in these families. We offer a resource through our website, which we call our Hope Library. This is where we've pulled together Christian science articles and testimonies specifically addressing the belief of developmental disabilities. When you're deep in the woods with any human challenge, as I'm sure you know, every glimmer of hope is like manna from heaven. We've also gathered some practical ideas for Sunday school teachers and other links related to housing and financial planning. Now I'd like to show you a short video of three other parents in our family support network. It means so much to know that there are Christian scientists out there that are walking this path along with me. To have people that understand is huge to me, but just being with people, knowing that there's other people that are doing the same thing and how they're facing it, that to me has been more than you know, I even expected to begin with because I had never had anybody who understood me. I think the metaphysical support is huge. Yes, there's times that we're talking about these issues, but we always turn it to another side and can see outside that, that door um, and, and see the real perfect child 
Yeah, it's fantastic. It's it's really nice to know that there is an organization out there that deals with this specific population. Very helpful because most of the times when you talk to individuals who have a child with a disability, it's about the physical and material issues. Whereas with Rainbow Valley, you're talking with other Christian science parents who have a real dedication to seeing the the spiritual true picture even though we do still have to deal with issues you know day-to-day issues of living you know finances um adapt adaptations for their for their family member but it's all seen through the lens of christian science and seen the true man. As you can see, we've come a long way in 37 years, thanks to a growing community of donors and friends like you. We have growing partnerships with the Christian science community, including nursing, churches who have reached out, and residential communities. We know there are many Christian science families out there still struggling alone who haven't learned about us yet. So we hope you'll let everyone know about us. We are referral only, so we don't go looking for people. We rely on word of mouth for them to find us. If you'd like more information about RVRN or want to share us with others, you can reach us through our website. Our address is rvrnetwork.org. Here you can sign up for email news updates, follow us on Facebook and YouTube, read inspiring stories about our loved ones, learn about upcoming programs, and if you'd like to, you can support our mission financially. RVRN is a 501c3 organization and we we rely almost exclusively on fundraising to support our families. On a final note, I'd just like to add that While this journey is not easy, my daughter has been the biggest blessing of my life, and I would not trade this experience for anything. And I've heard that so often from the other parents in our network. RVRN's tagline is circle of love, circle of support. And I love the metaphor. These loved ones are so pure. And I found that reaching out to support them they call forth the purest love in my heart, which we all know is reflected divine love. Thus, all of us are blessed through joining in this circle of love and support. If you know of someone in your church who has special needs, don't be afraid to reach out and make a new friend. They will probably melt your heart. And if there's anything Rainbow Valley can do to assist you or your church along the way, please be in touch. We would love to hear from you.